She couldn't believe this was happening. She would just posted a selfie on Facebook but never expected repercussions like this. The post exploded with comments and insults from people she would never even met. They were on to her and there was nothing she could do about it now. They were coming for her and even the locals were outraged by what she had done. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. While Amelia was too much of an animal lover to ever consider farming livestock, she would long fantasized about moving to a rural area. The chance came to buy a house with a significant allotment and she seized it immediately. She loved the novelty of living side by side with untamed wildlife. But one day she took her love for animals too far. She described the events in detail. After a long night of howling wind and deafening thunder, Amelia allegedly woke to a clear day and went about assessing the damage. A few tiles had fallen and the fence was toppled in places. Extra work, but nothing serious. Then she noticed a tree. A young alder cracked in two. As she approached, she heard high-pitched, desperate chirping. Scraping through the debris of the fallen tree, Amelia heard the sounds grow louder as she neared the source. Suddenly, a little yellow beak popped through the leaves, wide open. Blackbirds. Her instincts kicked in and she carefully cleared the branches from the surrounding area uncovered another three adolescent birds in the process, one of whom had not survived the fall. Placing the chicks in the fold of her coat, she carefully carried them toward her house. She would have to inspect them to see if they had sustained any injuries, but at first glance it seemed that they just needed warmth and nutrition. Pleased with having made her find, she was in good spirits, until she saw something that stopped her in her tracks. Approaching the house from behind, she noticed the back door was wide open. A wave of unease washed over her. She hadn't noticed it when she left earlier. Had someone broken in? Surely the wind couldn't have been so strong as to blow it open. Frozen in place, the blackbird's twittering drew her focus back to the task at hand. The door would have to wait. Rushing through the front entrance, she quickly found a warm blanket for the chicks, placing them in a shoebox to keep them safe. She tried to calm herself, repeating to herself that it was just the wind. Her heart was pounding as she turned to go back and check. Hinges squeaked as the door swung to and fro. It was time to confront whatever hid within. Amelia then recounted that she squinted in the dim light and walked slowly into the barn. She searched that all was in its right place, scanning the bales of hay and tools. Then she made out something. Crouching in the far corner, low to the ground, and then she saw that there were more. And this is where her story becomes unbelievable. The lights were off and the room smelled damp, the rain having blown in through the night. Amelia took small, quiet steps, tenuously reaching for the light switch. In a flash, her fears evaporated and she burst into joyful laughter. But when she described the scene before her, netizens and animal activists were incredulous. Amelia said that there, huddling in the corner and obviously seeking shelter from the storm, lay four little fawns, looking a little puzzled at the intrusion. But the people who read her Facebook post immediately knew that there was a lot more to the story, and she was about to pay the ultimate price for her discovery. This wasn't the first time Amelia had happened to stumble upon fawns near her home. One fateful day, she was walking through the woods when she came across something startling. There on the ground was a small brown animal. It was trying to make itself look very small. Amelia's interest only increased as she drew closer. Then she realized what it was. What she didn't realize was that this day marked the start of her criminal behavior. The fawn was tiny and she had an irresistible urge. She looked around to see if there could be any witnesses. Then she thought long and hard about what she was about to do. But this was an opportunity she felt couldn't be missed, an opportunity to get the best selfie ever. She wouldn't be doing the fawn harm, would she? Resolute, she scooped the fawn up and carried it to her home. Then she posed with the tiny creature for a selfie and was delighted when the picture quickly went viral. But Amelia wasn't done. She needed more. So she went out into the woods again in search of more fawns to make her reluctant models. Now she'd managed to gather a total of four fawns. But when questions about the authenticity of her barnyard find were raised on Facebook, she had to think fast. She didn't realize that the viewers, especially the locals, were clued up on normal fawn behavior and willingly entering a barn on a property inhabited by humans certainly wasn't one of them. 
Then Amelia's post started to create a public outcry, so she wove a tale to try to protect herself. But people saw through her ruse instantly. She would tried to paint a picture of herself as an avid rescuer of animals when in fact what she was doing was putting the animals in her care in danger. It had been a long time coming. The comments on her post reached a critical point and something had to give. The comments on her Facebook page made animal lovers anger apparent. This is a lie. She stole the babies and was trying to keep them as pets for her and her friends, said one woman. And another commented, OMG, she has leashes around their necks. That woman is awful and a liar. This is a hoax for sure. Then the post got the attention of the police. Suddenly there were policemen at Amelia's door. Word had gotten out to Michigan's Department of Natural Resources DNR, that she had been stealing fawns from the forest for her own entertainment and to keep as pets, a criminal offense. She was promptly charged with four counts of taking a protected animal from the wild, and each incident carried a penalty of $1,000. The officers from the DNR seized the four deer from Amelia and have started the slow process to rehabilitate them so they can be released into the wild. Amelia was ill-equipped to care for them, as she knew nothing of the proper care or food they needed to survive. She stole them from the forest for her own selfish reasons and even claimed later that she intended to give them to her friends as pets. Ron Kimmerly, an officer with the DNR, explained that 99.9% .9 of the time, when the people come into contact with these little fawns, everything's perfectly fine. Just leave them alone. The mom will come back after dark," he told the news station. When they touch the fawn and bring the fawn in, it's pretty much a death sentence for the deer. Sadly, the rate of incidences of fawns being taken from the wild is not uncommon. Some people mistakenly think that they're helping the animals when, in fact, the mother is probably nearby foraging for food. Once a human touches a fawn, the mother will recognize the scent and will usually reject it. Some people, like Amelia, have less noble intentions and just want the animals as pets. But the backlash on social media continues to plague Amelia.